Hello everyone! Welcome to another edition of the latest news on dramas and our beloved actors. And before we start, if you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel as there's always something new. Starting with actor Yoon Chan Young, who is in negotiations to join the cast of the upcoming K-drama Hyperknife. Recently, he received an offer to play the role of the bodyguard to Park Eun Bin's character in the series. This information was confirmed by his agency which stated that the actor is positively considering it. Hyperknife is a medical and crime thriller that promises to captivate viewers. The plot revolves around a psychopathic doctor who is obsessed with studying the human brain and considers human lives less valuable than those of insects. The twist in the story occurs when this doctor, who is also a murderer, reunites with her professor who led her to rock bottom. Confirmed in the cast are actors Park Eun Bin and Sol Kyung Gu. And if Yoon Chan Young accepts the offer, he will portray the doctor's bodyguard who decides to support her despite knowing she is a killer because she saved his life. Could he possibly engage in a romance with this psychopathic doctor? I'm curious and hoping he accepts, as he's already involved in other projects, including filming for the second season of All of Us Are Dead. So let's see if he can fit this project into his schedule. Recently, Huang Yi posted some photos on his Instagram where he appears in a school uniform during the filming of the new K-drama Family by Choice. Some fans ended up making jokes in the comments, asking when he will graduate and if his brother is always at school, among other similar comments. This is because he has often played high school roles and many fans are eager to see him in a more mature role. We know he really suits those high school roles with his baby face, but the actor has so much potential and in a more challenging role we could see a different side of Huang and Yip. Would anyone else like to see him in a stronger, more mature role? Well, this new K-drama he's working on is a young romance that will bring us a remake of the 2020 Chinese drama Go Ahead in a condensed version. It will feature three young individuals who aren't blood relatives but were raised as siblings. Romantic feelings will develop among them later on, leading to a love triangle. The story includes a time jump after their adolescence, so I believe at some point in the drama we'll see him in a more mature version. We'll have to wait and see. But I'm really excited about this drama. And now, onto the bustling filming of The Judge from Hell where Park Shin Hai and Kim Jae Young were caught in action in a recent video that surfaced on X. In the video, Park Shin Hai is seen wearing a light blue formal skirt and a top resembling a jacket, while Kim Jae Young opted for a black jacket and jeans. The two actors are engaged in a conversation, but towards the end, Park Shin Hai makes a comment before leaving. Her exit is marked by a walk that blends cuteness with irritation, suggesting that she might be a little upset about the conversation. This video has sparked great anticipation among fans for the drama. The Judge from Hell is an SBS fantasy romance K-drama where Park Shin Hai will play the role of a demon from hell tasked with punishing those who kill people without remorse. While Kim Jae Young will portray a detective who seems warm and friendly but harbors emotional wounds deep down. Once again, we'll witness the romance between a human and a mystical being. So, who else is eagerly anticipating this drama? It's definitely on my list. And here's some good news for fans of Yu Yun Suk as he might be returning in a new romance K-drama alongside actress Chai Soo Bin. Both have been invited to lead the new romance series, The Number You Have Dialed, as a romantic pair. And their agencies have already confirmed that the artists indeed received the offer and positively assessed the scripts, so it's quite likely that both will accept the partnership. The Number You Have Dialed is based on a web novel of the same name which presents a more mature romance as the couple is already married. It will depict the captivating love story of a model couple who have their lives well on track, but face a turning point in their relationship after the husband receives a call informing him that his wife has been kidnapped. If they accept the roles, Yu Yun Suk will portray the youngest spokesperson of the Blue House and a promising politician, while Chai Soo Bin will play a loving wife who works as a sign language interpreter. Actor Yoon Ji Eun joins Yoon So Min in the new K-drama Mom's Friend's Son. Coming off a string of great performances in productions like Tomorrow and My Lovely Liar, he is returning in 2024 in this romantic comedy, rounding out the star-studded cast alongside Young So Min and Young Hae In. Also confirmed for the drama is actress Kim Ji Eun, who is currently shining in the drama branding in Siangsu. The series, a TVN production set to air in August this year, tells the story of a woman who plans to restart her life to forget about her mother's friend's son, whom she fell in love with in the past. This drama is highly anticipated and the cast confirmations only add to the excitement. It's definitely another one on my endless list. 
Actor Jang Dong Yoon has signed an exclusive contract with his new agency, BH Entertainment, and already has a new project lined up for 2024. He has become a highly sought after actor, coming off an incredible streak of successful dramas. Recently, we've seen him shine in My Man is Cupid, Daily Dose of Sunshine, and Like Flowers in Sand. Now, with a new home, he will soon grace our screens in a historical romance K drama titled Secret of Memoirs of the Susong Palace. The drama depicts the romantic encounter between a court writer and the crown prince. Starring alongside him as the court writer is actress Shin Eun-soo who recently starred in the series Twinkling Watermelon, a major success in 2023 that I highly recommend for those who haven't seen it yet because it's fantastic. So the expectations are sky high to see the chemistry between these two talented actors. I'm a huge fan of Jang Dong-yoon and even though period dramas aren't my go-to choice, I don't know why they aren't, because in the end, I always end up loving them. This one, for sure, is going on my list because of this incredible actor. I did the same thing recently with Captivating the King, I rushed to watch it because it starred Jo Jung-suk and I absolutely loved it. Interestingly, one of the dramas I loved the most in 2023 and made it to my top 10 was My Dearest, which is a period drama. If you guys find it interesting, I can bring my top 10 favorite dramas of 2023 here and talk a bit about them. Let me know in the comments if you're interested and if there's a lot of interest, I'll share. And now, updates on the drama Made in Korea, which is the new project of our beloved and talented Hyun Bin. The latest news is that John Yeo Bin may join him in this project, as she has received an offer to play an administrative staff member of The Prosecutor, a role portrayed by actor Young Woo Sung. Her agency confirmed receipt of the offer, and the actress is positively considering it. Made in Korea aims to unravel an exciting narrative set against the backdrop of 1970s Korea, a time marked by intense competition and survival of the fittest. We are currently witnessing the formation of the cast, and filming for the drama is expected to commence between the months of June or July this year. In addition to this project, John Yeo Bin recently confirmed that she will star in the upcoming film Dark Nuns, alongside the wonderful song Haikyo, among other talents such as Lee Jean Wook, Hyo Jun Ho, and Moon Woo Jin. And now onto two beloved actors that we all adore. Moon Jae Young and Kim Seon Ho recently appeared together in a music video and they were incredibly cute, sparking a desire for a new K-drama featuring this duo. This cameo happened in the new album Falling Slowly by Daesung from the K-pop group Big Bang, who made his comeback earlier this month. Daesung has an incredible voice and the project turned out wonderful. For those who don't remember, Moon Jae Young and Kim Seon Ho had previously worked together and showed great chemistry as a couple in the drama Welcome to Waikiki Season 2, which aired in 2019. Now, they had this reunion, which I found very cool. Both of them are also involved in their individual projects. I've mentioned Kim Seon Ho's projects before, which I'll link here. And Moon Jae Young is being considered for the lead role in the Korean remake of the Chinese film, Us and Them, alongside Gu Kyo Hwan. This could mark her return to the big screen after eight years since her appearance in the 2016 film, 20 Again. Part Superior Du Formulario. Moon Jae Young also has a busy schedule with various fashion brands. Her fashion choices have been drawing a lot of attention, including her striking participation in the Dolce and Gabbana runway show during Milan Fashion Week 2024. As one of the brand's global ambassadors, the South Korean star shown wearing a complete Dolce and Gabbana ensemble featuring a transparent look. Absolutely stunning as always. And lastly, some heavier news. I think most of us were following the case of veteran actor Oh Young Soo, best known for his role in Squid Game, who was being tried for harassment against a co-worker. The final verdict was handed down on March 15th, and he was found guilty receiving a sentence of eight months in prison and two years of probation. Additionally, the veteran actor will undergo a treatment program aimed at such cases. And with that, I conclude another edition of news. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave your like and subscribe here to not miss the next videos. Kisses and until next time.